Today we're at LA's most famous restaurant. This is Pink's Hot Dogs, and in 1939, they were selling dogs for just five cents. Let's get on in there and let's go see what their dogs look like today. Come on. So many options. And look at celebrities love this place. There's Betty White, rest in peace, her soul. This place has been certified by tons of celebrities. This place is a hot spot for celebrities. So if you look inside, they have a bunch of signed photos from famous actors and actresses that you may recognize. Historic landmark. Wow. This venue is huge. When this place started, they had one hot dog. It was a chili dog. And now they have over 30 mouth-watering dogs. So making this decision is gonna be tough. They do have a section right here that says top 10 superstar dogs. So I feel like that might be our good choice. We should definitely get a classic. And what do you think about trying a cheeseburger here? Yeah. I mean, that's what they do. They do burgers and dogs, so. There's too many words, not enough pictures. So we're gonna base ours off of this list of maybe 20 hot dogs instead, because there's pictures. I like pictures. So we want to get the classic stretch chili dog, the Lord of the Rings, the uh, El Cucoy dog, the Aussie spicy, Polish pastrami. Britney Spears, Martha Stewart. They have uh, one of your friends on the, on the board. No way. Yeah, 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 look. It's Dax. <laughs> Dax with a small ass head. <laughs> it's Dwight Howard. <laughs> Snoo. Snoo. Ooh, we got Beyonce. Uh, that's not Beyonce. Who is that? That's uh. Oh, she's from that grown up, the, the, the doll the movie. The model movie. The Barbie movie. Trisha Paytas. Ah, oh. oh, Trisha. <laughs> Sanjay, we got Sanjay. Keep up. Sunday, you. Oh, Sunday. Sunday, I always listen to on Sunday. Ah. It's kind of crazy to be such a famous restaurant in LA, one of the staple places that you get recognized by Los Angeles itself. It's nuts. Soap and hand sanitizer, nice little toilet, seats, bathroom, baby ch changer, four kids, co anger, two air fresheners, and it's clean. This is a good one. Back to the food. Oh, automatic. Nice. I'm falling for the girl next door. Been through hell and back, that's why she don't get attached. I'm falling for the girl next door. I'm falling for the girl next door. I've really never eaten at this place in my entire life, but I've seen it every single time I come down to Hollywood. It is an LA staple. I just never wanted to wait in these massive lines because if you come a little too late, these lines go around the block. It's absolutely yeah. insane. I will say, I don't know how many people actually eat here that live in LA. Yeah. I think this is definitely a tourist spot. Oh yeah, for sure. You, it's something when you visit LA, you have to try. Well, because it is like an LA landmark. They know, like they used to actually have regular normal actors hanging in there because it was their shot for producers to see and directors to see because this place is so like notorious for having celebrity producers, celebrity yeah. directors and actors in this building. So our food is here and let's give our first thoughts. Initially looking at it, they kind of just look like a whole bunch of mess on top of a hot dog. I will say the other place that we did looked dirt very, dog. dirt dog looked very more aesthetic. Appealing, yeah. These kind of look like, you know, this is something good to get after the club, like something super greasy and it's probably going to be very good, but it's probably not like it's probably gonna be just way greasy and, and whatever. So let's jump into it and let's just try these. Which one is calling out to you? I think I got this pastrami one that's uh, calling out. I'm calling out this spicy. Okay. So we're going from right to left here. All right, that looks incredible. I should have grabbed the tin with it. Oh my God, look at this. I'll say there's some nice curvature to these dogs. That's one thing I will say about I it. I will prematurely before biting it, my, my bun's gonna be super soggy. It looks soggy. Mine's not soggy, so let's just jump in and let's take a bite of this thing. Wow. So I will say, the hot dog itself does not have that much of a snap. Really? Like a really good. Mine has a, a very solid snap that I was actually pretty surprised about. Overall though, the pastrami is pretty good quality. The, it's just a normal hot dog to me though. It doesn't really taste anything much different than a normal hot dog with some pastrami thrown on it. Yeah, it's also very like, not very wow factor. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's good because I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. But like, if you take each ingredient separated, like the guac doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. 
which is kind of just very bland. At least that one was. Yeah. Let's swap yours, it out. Yours was the Aussie, right? Yeah. All right, we're swapping it. I'm going the Aussie. Jake's going the pastrami. Here we go. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. This one's a lot better. Yeah, pastrami's good on that one. Right. The saltiness of the pastrami mm -hmm. really ties in the whole hot dog. You really can't taste the guac like you were saying at all. I will say what it is filled with is so much nacho cheese that it's almost overbearing to the actual hot dog itself. But what I do like is that yours had a little bit of a spice factor yeah. to it. A little heat up. I did like that. Just off those two hot dogs, I cannot see why this place has been standing for 83 years. Me either. I think, I, I really just believe it's been glorified in movies, TV, and everything. That people just want to come here to experience they it. Must. They're not left happy. Yeah. In and Out is a way better place for something that's yeah, more staple of we're, we're, LA. We're burger guys, man. That's our issue. We're not hot dog guys. Well, we got a burger. Let's go on to the next, the next one. I'm gonna go right here. This one right here is the classic, Jake. This is what they got famous for. This is how they have made it 83 years or 82 years. What was it? 82 years. This is the reason they survived 82 years. Is because of this classic chili dog. So, without any further ado, let me let you guys know how a classic Pink's hot dog is. Mmm, chili is so good. The hot dog itself, it's small, it's cute, but the chili is good. Mm. Now I know why that place, this is such a famous hot dog. That's, That's a, a good, good dog. hot dog. Mind you, this whole total was like $62. We did get five hot dogs and a giant burger, so that is a good deal. That is good. I like this one. Classic, so good. Can't go wrong with this. If you're coming to Pink's and you need something to order and you don't want to jump into their 30 other options, just go with the classic. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. Over here, what is this one called? Mm. This is the shop. Lord of the Rings. Oh, this one's Lord of the Rings. And if you want to know why it's called Lord of the Rings, a bunch of onion rings. Mm -hmm. It's going to have a plain hot dog. There's barbecue sauce, there's nothing else actually on the hot dog besides oh, yeah. barbecue sauce and onion rings. That's interesting. It's definitely gonna be a mouthful. It's gonna be a mouthful. I don't even think you're gonna be able to wrap your mouth around that, to be quite honest. It's gonna fall apart. It's good? Okay. Barbecue sauce was nice and sweet. Onion rings had a good crisp texture to it. Mm. You really just don't taste the hot dog though. Mm -mm. It's all about the topping in this one. There's also just weird toppings. With that one in particular, they're just reaching. They're trying to get make any kind of different hot dog that they could think of because it's not very unique. Just a couple onion rings and some barbecue sauce. It's decent in flavor, but like Jake said, you really only taste the barbecue sauce. And let's talk about how fast everything came out. Everything's pre-made. Nothing's like piping hot, to be honest. It's not. Like the hot dogs are just sitting in the yeah. hot dog juice. They throw the buns on. Heat up the bacon, yeah. boom, 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 and you're out the door. That's how fast service is, but not fast isn't always the best. That's a giant sausage in that thing. So they actually put like a full on like German sausage sliced open. It's not one of the cheap little hot dogs that it was in the pitcher. It looked like three little hot dogs. Yeah. This, this was an actual a full size split in two. This was a man to be a real man. Oh my god, that it's not a man. It's a hot dog. I mean, chili dog, it's a burger. You want the first bite? Now you go for it. I didn't really get a lot of flavor. I taste the sausage more than anything else in the burger. Sausage is good, salty, has a really good bite. The rest of the burger is just okay, but I don't taste the burger. It's it's a mediocre burger. It's the only thing that's good about it is the sausage. But that also brings you back to this being a hot dog place, and their their sausage slash dog is the best part of this place. Yeah, we just wanted to give it a go. It's on the menu. You know that in 1941 when they were renting this land. The land to rent to put this hot dog stand on was only 15 bucks a month. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. But in 1939, this hot dog stand was selling over 2,000 hot dogs and 200 hamburgers a day. Wow. So that just shows that you're getting 10% of people getting burgers yeah. from here, but it's mainly a hot dog. And mind you, this place was not always here as a building. It used to be like a hot dog a literally cart. Stand. Yeah, like a cart. A stand. I used to sell hot dogs out of it. Kind of like when you go to LA and you go to the nightclubs and you buy the street dogs. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how this place started on the streets yep. of Hollywood. And you know, they actually bought this location for guess how much? Five k. Four thousand dollars. They bought this location, so they've owned this land since 1939 or 1941 when they bought it, and uh, it's four grand. And I would guess maybe depending on how big the lot is, it could be like twenty million dollars now. Probably yeah, probably a good couple million for sure. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, this is looks disgusting, yo. Look at all these this mayonnaise in here. Oh. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see all the mayo in there, but I can see it. 
If there's one thing I won't do, it's turn down a wiener. So, here we go. That, I, I, that looks like so much mayo. Here we go. Oh my god. So much going on. When someone is successful with a certain thing, they start trying to branch out and try everything else. And I think that's where this place, you know, it, it, maybe that's where it brings a lot of customers, but for me, that's where it kind of fails. Yeah. Because a lot of these didn't really, like, they just don't go together. Like this, it goes, I mean, it does go, but it's just too much flavors at one time that you don't even really know what you're tasting. And there's so much sauce that it makes the bun just soggy. It wasn't enjoyable. It had some sweetness from the onions, some spicy from the jalapeno, some salty from the bacon. It just got too much going on. And then the condiments, I just, I wasn't a fan of that. Honestly, my heart lies with the classic chili dog. You don't need to go any further than that. I will say if you're in LA, come by, take some photos, and then head to the Chipotle across the street. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just one. <laughs> so my final thoughts on Pink's, it's cool to stop by because it's such a landmark, but honestly, I don't see myself going back or waiting in their crazy lines just to get a hot dog. So that's my thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, pick up merch at BrennanTaylor.com, subscribe to my gaming channel. First link down below, gaming videos every week. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Be safe, I love y'all. I'll talk to you later, peace. Summertime, no sadness.